Our goal was to teach children what happens when prejudice goes unchecked. We're a community of 1,600 people. We really have no diversity. The Ku Klux Klan was founded only about 100 miles away. One of the hardest things for them to comprehend was that Hitler murdered six million Jewish people. A student said, what is six million? I've never seen six million. In the 1940s, people wore private clothes to represent the people who were in the Holocaust at that time. And we all said, this is the idea. It began in a school. Can we write letters to some people and see if they'll send us some paper clips? Spread to a town. The whole community is involved in it. The attached paper clip is in memory of my grandfather. 25,000 pieces of mail. Something's going on over here. Across the nation. I'm sending you one paper clip. We have some from Tom Hanks, Bill Cosby, former President Bush. And throughout the world. Paper clips just coming in by the millions. They're all addressed to Anne. This is Anne from I can't get over that. I don't think it had ever occurred to them that there were people in this world who never knew their grandparents. I was in Auschwitz for three years, and I'm glad I can come and talk to you nice people. If we have made such a big difference, think what the rest of the world could do if they tried. I wish the whole world was like you are. a wonderful small town where you'd like to raise your children. There are about 1,600 people who live here. It's a very loving, very caring community. Well, Whitwell's a small town in the southern part of Tennessee. We have two traffic lights and um, there's a couple fast food restaurants around. Um, we're not a we're not a diverse city. We needed something to teach about tolerance, and I don't think there's been many times in history there's been any more intolerance than happened in the Holocaust. And um, it fit our need as far as diversity. We could teach about the Jewish culture because there are no Jews in our whole valley, not in our schools. So that's how the project came about. The original goal to collect was six million, and we chose six million to represent the six million Jews that were murdered in the Holocaust. And these kids have done it so much this year, and they've done so much mail. They take each piece of mail very seriously. They read it, and they handle it as if it, you know, were a serious gift that, that they really treasure. The attached paperclip is in memory of a friend of my grandfather whose name is forgotten. I think that it's pitiful that they don't know his name and they don't know where his grave is. And But I think it's good that they're sending a paperclip in remembrance of him. A group of survivors uh, are coming to Whitwell. They called us and wanted to know if they could come and share their stories. To know that someone would take the time and make the effort to come all the way from New York to talk with them about a project that's important to the children. And we're just glad to have them here. At the end, almost when the Allies were coming, getting closer, and closing in on the Germans, they put us, in order to uh, annihilate us, we were put on a dead march. And we went, usually we, we marched the day, uh, during the night mostly, so we wouldn't be visible to the general public. Most of us didn't make it. I never have thought about this way before, but after I heard his speech and how emotional he got, it really touched me. The next time I say the Pledge of Allegiance, I want to think of how glad I am that I'm, it's a free country and I had the right to do what I feel and say what I say. And, I just be much more respectful to it. And this project isn't going to die no matter how many paper clips we get. And we are going to treat these paper clips like the children have said. One of them said to me, Miss Hooper, when you touch these,
Can you feel the souls? Well, yes, you can feel the souls because most of them came with a letter that told you about the soul that paperclip represented. And you know, if we accomplish nothing else, we have helped these people find a resting place for something that was important to them.